If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. I'm not happy about Ciro at all. He's now being taken over by single units. I mean, check this. Two motorized infantry over here, one over here, here, and two over here. He has tactical bombers, but he only made two. And they're level one. What's up with that, with all his level one units? He golded a lot of units at the start of the match, and since then he did jack. I've been carrying his dead weight all this game. I have no idea what he's waiting for, man. He didn't make any bombers. The bombers that he has, he's not using them. He's not upgrading his units. He's not making destroyers. He's just sitting there, man. He might be a uh, fellow English moderator, but as a player to play with, sorry, Zero, but it's kind of a big zero on a scale of 10. Got my planes now incoming. I'm gonna hit those refueling planes. That's gonna be fun. Refueling planes have reduced health. They are considered as light armored units. So if you get attacked while refueling, you're gonna direct. And if what I am thinking is correct, and this is a level one airbase, he's gonna be refueling for 30 minutes. I refuel only seven minutes, 45 seconds, man. I'm gonna be there fast. I hope I'm gonna be able to hit him before he uh, stops refueling. This one over here, he needs only five minutes to tack over there, to cross the distance. So also these planes, they're gonna need maybe 10 minutes to get over there. His refueling planes are gonna get attacked by 20 interceptors, level four. His interceptors here, they are which level? Oh, they're level four as well. Well, not that it's going to matter because, check this, he already has a reduced health. Now he's refueling. Oh, wait a minute. He's not refueling because he was on patrol, right? He was on patrol. He's not refueling. And planes parked on the ground, they function like a patrolling airplane, but on defense. And a parked plane still gets defensive stats. On top of it, now these planes, they're normally, they're going to merge together with those interceptors. So it's gonna be harder to take them out. So I'm actually doubting if it's worth my while to move in. I feel I shouldn't do this because my planes, they're heavily damaged as well. I should maybe wait until I get the upper hand again. There's two patrol dots over here. I have no clue what will be coming over there. Let's pull back, all right? I'm up against a lot of enemies. I cannot afford to enter in a war of attrition. On top of it, they are using gold. I use gold as well, but still, I'm not feeling like taking any risks at all. I'm gonna put back my aggressive fire settings now that we've got Peru who is out of my range with his subs let's see if I attack right here and now how much time I need to get to him 15 minutes that's nice all right I'm gonna set a march until here I've got my aggressive fire settings anyway also here only six level one artillery pretty poor but okay I've been just able to deal a ton of damage to the Argentinian stack over here this is uh, amazing, check that out, beautiful. So I'm gonna advance a bit. I need to send my units here closer because in the event that he's trying to catch me up, I need those units here to counter attack. I don't want them to lock my railroad gun into melee battle. So we're now gonna move for a half an hour, 28 minutes here, yeah, that's great, perfect. I don't want to get too close neither because I don't want to get caught up somewhere by them. But they are in the forest. I am on flat land here everywhere, friendly terrain. So I'm gonna have plenty of time to escape. I'm also bringing in my attack bombers. I need to do something about these uh, single units, especially here, those armored cars. I'm also gonna try to take out this armored car, but it's uh, further away. I don't want to get caught up by motorized infantry. Still should be pretty straightforward. All right, we've just killed that armored car. It is gone. And then I just gave a second shot here to our friend South Argentina. It ain't looking good for him, mate. He still needs a half an hour to get here to the province center. And then so he's gonna get another shot. So when he receives his shot, he's gonna be at only 50% of his hit points over here. And I can still keep moving forward in this province over here really fast. It's a uh, plains, so flat terrain. I'm gonna deal a ton of damage. This is all the troops he had when he invaded. Yes, he made anti-air, but they're only slowing him down, so I don't really care that much. I'm gonna kill them all. 
I've been able to open fire four times now and the stack is at only 50% hit points now. He already has lost a light tank, an armored car and three anti-air. So the next shot, also these uh, light tanks, these armored cars, and maybe two anti-air are gonna be killed as well. So it's going just like I want. The fifth shot will be the last one because then he's gonna go out of range, I guess. And I don't want to venture too close to this stack over here because I don't want it me locking into combat but i've got here my quick reaction force already available this is the perfect stack to counter uh, this one from peru so as soon as i've opened another shot in 21 minutes and 48 seconds i'm gonna pull back a bit and i'm gonna give my full attention to the peruvian stack peru is being pretty inactive this suits me just well with a bit of luck he's offline for a couple of hours i'm gonna be able to grind his stack completely into the mid grinder okay, i'm gonna pull back these planes now i don't want them to open fire there we go perfect this is how you play axis fast shock troops nicely upgraded support of railroad guns interceptors attack bombers let them try bringing me down i am ready for it and they're being completely dumb but very dumb because they're just doing the job from the russians check the russians they have the entirety of europe almost all of asia as well if they take over africa as well they will win 